Good morning world. Jay's just making us some slices of peanut butter on toast for breakfast. I'm popping out today to see my dad first and then I'm popping to see Jill and have a drink with her before she goes to work. Have a little cafe morning catch up. <laughs> Last night Jay and I booked our flights to Portugal for our little pre-trip. We're going for a week and we're leaving a couple of days actually so it's all systems go here but this morning we woke up to some very bad news of the UK voting to leave the EU which I think is a horrible decision and not sure what's going to happen it all seems a bit what's the word it all seems a bit disastrous to be honest so one positive thing is that we earn a lot of our money in US dollars so that helps because the British pound just took a massive hit. Yeah, so. already within hours mm. so of it happening. So goodness knows what the future of the UK is. I think that was a very bad decision. On a lighter note, here's my face. Would you like to see it closer? Good girl. How do you feel about leaving the EU? Mm, I'm not sure. I do not know much about it. Like we've said before in these vlogs, a lot of the decisions made are going to take time to come into effect so we're just going to carry on as planned we're still moving to Portugal and we're just going to see how it all pans out over time we can't sit here and worry too much about everything right now so expat life continues that's the way we're seeing it before Sasha goes out and takes the camera I'm going to give Eden her new Dentaflex Wowzers. Want a smelly stick? Hmm? Nay, nay. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's too big for me. Go on. It's yours. It's yours, you can have it. <laughs> Is it too big for you? We got this flex because Eden's teeth have never been the best and this one squashes a bit so we thought it might be better for her mouth but she seems a bit overwhelmed by it all. Good girl. Actually quite a nice sunny day out there today. I'm not sure if it'll stay that way. I'm quite excited about our trip to Portugal. We are going to be flying into Porto. We're going to spend two nights there. Then we're going to head off to Coimbra to go and check out the hospitals and the town. It's meant to be very beautiful in Coimbra. And that's also quite close to where we're going to be moving to. So after that, we'll spend a few days living in the house that we intend to rent. We have to contact the landlady again and get that sorted. And then that's it. We'll be renting a little car, perhaps a smart car or a little um, Volkswagen up or something to whiz around in. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to find out what it's like driving there, living there, speaking there. Let's just see how it goes. Bye. Bye, I'll see you later. Alright, I've met up with Jill for our little morning coffee catch up, although it turned into a hot chocolate catch up. And we both ordered a small hot chocolate and an almond croissant. Really? We're sitting outside, which is rather glorious. <laughs> Although neither of us have sunglasses, so we didn't think this through. All right, our little breakfasty snacky thing has arrived. We both have <laughs> almond croissants, which are warm, very good, and two small hot chocolates. Oh. Look lovely. Ready to dig in, Jill? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Jill's taken her picture for Instagram yeah. already. <laughs> I haven't destroyed anything. Yet. No. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Okay, our croissants and hot chocolates are done. They were good, weren't they, Jill? Very good. Best croissant I've had. Yeah, it was a very good croissant. And it's been really nice sitting out here in the sun. Jill even got a bit of a burnt it arm. <laughs> Just one side. Pink, one arm, so you've got to do the other one. <laughs> you have to turn your chair around. I know. <laughs> it's 
been nice sitting here though, outside. We've been talking about the EU referendum business. <laughs> what else have we been talking about? Um, statistics. Statistics. <laughs> stock market shares. Oh yeah, the shares, stock markets, all kinds of things. Very random. <laughs> as soon as we start talking about how nice it was and sunny, it went grey and now it looks like rain. Jay actually dropped me off here at the cafe because I was driving around for about 15 minutes trying to find somewhere to park and I couldn't find anywhere so I had to go back home <laughs> and Jay dropped me off <laughs> so he's going to come pick me up in a minute. Okay I'm just waiting outside for Jay, I've just paid the bill, it was £9 exactly for our two hot chocs and croissants. just picked me up and we also have got Jill and a little surprise guest of Eden in the car. <laughs> We're taking Jill back to her house because she's got her umbrella and doesn't want to head to work without one because there's a 52% chance of rain today. <laughs> so we'll drop her off at the station after she's collected her umbrella. <laughs> Hi Eden, you got your harness on? Yeah, good girl. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Sasha's just going to take the car, go and see her mum, but I'm just waiting with Eden. I think she's going to take Eden. You're going to go and see Darcy? Yeah, Eden's going to see Darcy today. Keep her entertained. While Sasha is out, I'm going to work on the next episode of These Tiny Moments. We filmed it on the last day when we left our house in Huahin. So I've got the footage, I just haven't got the music yet. He is dead and the seed is progressing nicely, so we don't want to, pay to spend too long waiting. That is another thought as well, what Eden said. In the past, I've waited a long time sitting on footage before I put a video up because we've been busy with other things. But with a growing child, you can't do that because things change so fast. Appearances change. I have to keep things relevant. Otherwise, baby will be born and videos will still be going up before the birth. So, yes, trying to keep on top of it. Lot to go on in here. Also got to book a car for Portugal. You won't be with us this time in Portugal, Eden. So that means we can get hotels that aren't pet friendly. But the next time you're going to drive all the way there in this car. Bye again. Yeah. <laughs> just got to my mum's house. I brought Eden with me so she can play with Penny and Darcy's here as well I think so Darcy will like to see Eden as well. So time for lunch at my mum's now. Just had a nice picky lunch at my mum's and I'm now in the garden with little Darcy. We're about to water the flowers. I've got my little pink watering can here and we're going to blow some bubbles. Going to be fun, hey? Do you want the pink one or the blue one? I can I've just left my mum's, I'm heading back to Jay now. It was quite a nice afternoon actually, really sunny, so it was nice just having a sit out in my mum's garden. And they caught a bit of sun. It was nice, but I'm going to drive back now and see Jay and see what he's been up to. Reunited? Yes. Back at the house? I am. How was your mum's house? Fine. Good. Lunch, yeah. Good Penny and Eden meet? Yeah, they were really good. Yeah, no growling or anything. And yeah. Eden, they were even sat next to each other at one point on the sofa.
What do you think of my fixed lead, Mum? I think it's good for street walks. Daddy thinks it's too short for me. What do you think? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Eden has always had a five metre extendable lead. So this little, what is it, one metre you've bought? Yeah. It just feels really restrictive to me. <laughs> feels like my arm's getting pulled off. One thing I'm really liking about being here in the UK is Eden's walks. Summertime here is just pleasant enough. So when we take Eden and we go outside, we know she's not going to be panting and going crazy. She can enjoy longer walks and we can not be too sweaty. It's nice. Even little local journeys like this feel pleasant. And Eden's new little harness is doing well. She's not pulling too much. I think she likes it. Good feeling around the neck. Soon we'll have to find another walk, but for now, Eden can enjoy this one. Just returned from a quick shop and we have bought a load of goodies. Tonight we are making a dark rye garlic bread and we are going to make whole wheat penne organic whole wheat fusilli pastas bake with butternut squash sauce and sage. I think that's one great thing about being in London and in the UK is the food is so multicultural over the years. We have access to some crazy things we would never have thought even to mix. Every time I go and see something inspired by Italy or inspired by Germany or whatever, it's just another food. So that's kind of why we've always eaten all different kinds of foods, isn't it, Sash? Yeah. We never stick to one thing. Because in England, you've got so much choice, it'd be silly to just stick to one thing. The final touch is, we've decided to put some vine tomatoes on the top <laughs> for garnish. <laughs> I saw Gordon Ramsay do this once, they look really good. So, let's try it out. In we go. Dinner is coming out of the oven. Looks good. Mm. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, turned out quite well. I'm very pleased with how this looks. The vine tomatoes turned out quite rustic. Everything looks good. Everything looks like it's appetising. Yes. We're going to end the vlog here now because we, tomorrow we're going out on a little road trip. So probably going to go to bed a little bit earlier tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow for that journey. Hope you enjoyed today. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to these tiny moments and also set eight miles from home to make sure you see everything that we're doing. If that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye. I've heard rumours of a road trip. Is this gonna be my first road trip, Mum? Yeah. yeah. I think I might wear my bandana. What colour? What colour shall I wear? Which, oh, I've got three red ones. Red Shabby Chic style. Alright, I'll wear that. <laughs>